Well, today you're going to end up making, we're going to be move, making different formats. We have originally have what we call our, our e-form or our English format that we've used in class, and it's basically our B size. Um, we also need to make an A size and a C size for our next 3D projects that we're going to do. So let's do this so that it'll be a little bit easier, easier for us to do. So we call up our e-form, and we're going to go save as. Now with the save as, save it to your server. And I'm going to call this one B-size. Um, the reason I'm doing this as B-size is so it's easier for me to see that, yes, it's truly the B-size. And now I'm going to save it again. And I'm going to save as again. And I'm going to save this one as A-size. Now, instead of me redrawing the entire A-size drawing, I'm going to make this drawing do the work for me. So here's our format. The first thing we need to do is delete all of our dividers. All right, so we've got those deleted. And now let's go ahead and do our proper size. An A size is 8.5 by 11. So what I'm going to do is go offset, and I'm going to do my 8.5 or 8.5. I'm going to take it from the bottom of the yellow paper. Okay, good. Um, notice that the whole thing is highlighting. If I did that, it would go to the inside. Got to do one quick thing. Let's explode. So I'm going to pick explode. Pick that format, the actual paper line, and now they're individuals. So I can go ahead and do the offset again at 8.5, and I'm going to take the bottom paper line and go to the top. That's our new height. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to repeat my offset. I'm going to do my 11. And I'm going to take my vertical line, and I'm going to go this direction. So this right here is our new size of our format. So in order to do this simply, is we're going to do some simple moves. We're going to do a move. Now this paper here, this line on the format from the paper is 0.5. Instead of me measuring it, I'm just going to pick it, right click. My base point is going to be the top edge of my paper to my new top edge of my paper. I'm going to do the same thing over here. But now with this, what I really want to do is so I don't have to remove a lot of things, I'm going to take from way up here in window, and notice I am getting all of the writing, all of the information, and this line. I'm going to use my base point as this point here, which is the edge of my paper, and I'm going to go to the new edge of my paper, and I'm going to snap. So now I'm set up right here. This is great. I'm going to go ahead and erase out the top line. And there's some dots you're going to see at the top. Those were our division lines when we divided our paper. And I'm going to use my fillet. My fillet down here, if you notice, the radius is set to zero, so it'll go out at 90 degree. But I'm going to also either type the letter M or pick M for multiple. So I don't have to re-click over and over to keep the command active. So if you notice, I'm just basically filleting. And it's actually trimming it up for me. So I've got quite a bit done quickly. I no longer need this line here. Now, if you take a look, all we have to do is do a trim. I'm not going to hit the space bar as I'm lazy, and I'm not going to trim twice. I'm going to pick this as my cutting edge. Oops, i got to pick down here because it is separate. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to select all my lines. Now that's good. All of this writing here is correct. This writing is correct. And believe it or not, even the scale, even if I pick scale, it's going to come way out here. But I can deal with that. The date, I do have a little bit of an issue with. It goes that way. But that should not really impact us as we're only changing the last portion. Our main impact is our title. So if I just highlight and pick our title here, Take a look on where things are. I've got this is starting here, and our arrow is all the way over here. So let's bring our arrow back to our actual red line here. Now, that's got that whole thing centered up for us. So we can take from there, center things up. We already have all of our layers set. Our drawing's done, and it was done very quickly and easily. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my save, and now I have my A size drawing completely done. All right? Don't forget, save to your student drive, not your, your desktop. 